Welcome students to the next topic of chapter development from economics. In the previous class we discussed about the per capita income, the national income and we compare the countries based on development and also we compare the countries based on uh, World Bank criteria. In this class we will discuss about the income and other criteria as well as uh, BMI, body mass index. Before that, I request you to please open the test book. Sit with the test book only because it contains two uh, tables also. Based on the tables only, I want to, wanted to explain. So, the development level of the nations that or regions should be uh, judged on the basis of other attributes besides income. Income ke alawa that means per capita income ke alawa or some other aspects are there to this judge whether the country is developed or not. For to understand this, let us take the comparative analysis of three states. Three states are Haryana, Kerala and Bihar. In the old book, some of you have having the old book also. In the, that those old books, uh, it is uh, Maharashtra, uh, Bihar and Kerala. In place of Maharashtra, new book, Haryana only. And two tables are given. One table regarding the per capita income. And the second table, there are three columns. One is IMR, infant mortality rate. Second is literacy rate. And third is net attendance ratio. Before moving into the table, we should learn the terms of these three. Per capita income, already you all well know about per capita income. Total GDP by total population that you know. Now, infant mortality rate or IMR. IMR. What is IMR? Number of children that die before the age of one year to a proportion of 1000 live children. 1000 live children born in that particular year. Right? 1000 children. जो उस साल में एक साल में thousand बच्चे के according compare करके वो मशक करेंगे how many बच्चे का death हो गया one year से पहले that is IMR second आपका literacy rate आपको पता है पता है six to seven and जैसे बढ़ चुका था six to seven years ten years में ना six और sorry seven years के ऊपर जो बच्चे हैं उसको पढ़ना लिखना आता है किसी ने डर that is they are known as the literate students literate people कोई भी एक लैंग्वेज में लिखना पढ़ना आना चाहिए उसको लिटरेट बोलेंगे अदरवाइज इलिटरेट बोलेंगे सो वी आर कंपेयरिंग अ प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ एन एरिया एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम एज इज 7 इयर्स एंड और अबव वी कैन रीड एंड राइट विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो वी स्केर लिखना पढ़ना जिसको आता है उसी का प्रोपोर्शन को बोलेंगे लिटरेसी रेट एंड थर्ड इज नेट अटेंडेंस रेशियो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन ऑफ एज ग्रुप दैट मींस 6 टू 7 एज ग्रुप का जो बच्चे हैं enrolled or attending the school compared to total number of students in that particular area, area uh, for the 6 to 10 years that means kya hai jo aapka total jo log hai 6 to 10 years ka primary school ka uske liye 6 to 10 years ka kitna bachche hai usko compare karenge usme se kitna bachche aapka school mein attend kar rahe hai that is net attendance ratio total students in is to number of students attend the school number of children attend the school ye teeno ka definition aapko please pad lena lekin this mandatory one mark question aayega now we are going to compare see first of all per capita income per capita income of haryana is highest is the highest and the lowest is bihar that shows that uh, uh, they indicate that employment status and the income uh, means uh, in your uh, scope of earning is quite less in Bihar. Bihar may employment status as well as the earning ka scope would come in. That is why the per capita income both less. Haryana is the highest. Right? Second position Kerala. Haryana ka de rakhe hai aapka per capita income 1 lakh uh, 62,034 I think Kerala ka 1,40,190 Book mein de rakha hai iska Isn't it? Bond mein bhi karayin So Hame Per capita income is Kiska highest Haryana ka lowest Bihar ka Abhi IMR dekho 
infant mortality rate. Kerala is having the least IMR. Subse kambetsi marjata Kerala. Because of the health facilities. Kerala is having a good health facilities. That is the people are so, infant are not at all means uh, in a danger. In the death both come in. Only 10. Whereas Haryana is 33, we have a 38. We have a highest. Understood. From this one thing we understood. Per capita income money say that will not guarantee the IMR. Haryana ka per capita income zyada hai. Paisa ensure kar raha hai ki aapka death toll kam ho jayenge karke. No? Isn't it? Can say that IMR implies healthcare facilities in poor. Jo aapka Bihar ka IMR jo dekhe that imply karta hai health facility as well as kya bolenge uh both poor are in Bihar. Otherwise, health is good, then you don't have to worry about it. And in Haryana, IMR, sorry, per capita income guarantee doesn't have to be per capita income. What is the reason for that? Is it a death? No. It's a factor of health. IMR. Kerala, the पर क्या पता है इनकम कम में हरियाणे से लेकिन हेल्थ फैसिलिटी अच्छा है दैट इज व्हाई आई एम आर प्लस राइट नेक्स्ट मूव इनटू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज क्या बोलेंगे लिटरेसी रेट केरला हैज द हाईएस्ट लिटरेसी रेट बट बिहार हैज द लोवेस्ट सी हरियाणा इज हैविंग 82 परसेंटेज अकॉर्डिंग टू 2011 सेंसस केरला 94 बिहार 62 we have to make the school मतलब we can say that many students are away from the education still ठीक है ये क्या आंसर है poverty reason क्या होगा बिहार में away from education because the poverty and lack of education facilities that only Maharashtra is sorry this Haryana is also lagging behind 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 the care that care last stage Bihar is also sorry. Haryana is also lagging, lagging behind uh, in education, though it has higher per capita income. So, we have seen that Haryana per capita income is more than the literacy rate is more than the IMR is more than the Kerala. And if you look at the enrollment ratio or your net attendance ratio. Is the highest in Kerala. That means that uh, Kerala में ज़्यादा बच्चे school में जाते हैं. Say 83, Haryana में 61, और आपका Bihar 43. Similar. That means number of children attending the school in Kerala. That is the highest. In Kerala, more number of children are attending the school, whereas in Bihar, less number of uh, children are attending. So understood. So here also we can say that even IMR, net attendance ratio, literacy rate, सब अच्छा काम रहे, मतलब ठीक चल रहा है केरला में, केरला में IMR कम, health facilities अच्छा है, literacy rate अच्छा है, education facilities अच्छा है, net attendance ratio also good, number of students children attend the school facilities, whereas बिहार में IMR zyada, that means facilities kam nahi hai, kam hai, health facilities less, net attendance ratio less, or literacy rate less, because lack of education system or education facilities, right, and poverty is also there, that is the reason. So from this only we can understand that only income se nahi hoata hai, Haryana ko income zyada tha, but wo IMR mein peech hai, or sahi maa se di sab ko, लेटरेसी रेट में नेट अटेंडेंस रेशियो में दोनों में केरला से पीछे है तो ये आप देखेंगे खाली आपका इनकम आने से नहीं होते साथ में दीस आर द फैक्टर्स अंडरस्टूड प्लीज रीड द टेस्ट बुक केयरफुली वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन इज आल्सो एन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ कंट्री फॉर दैट इंटरनेशनल टर्म यूज्ड बीएमआई बॉडी मास इंडेक्स you can also understand or you can also find out whether your parents or brother or sister, those who are adults, become adult. It is not meant for you people. It is meant for adult. 
can also check whether they are undernourished or malnourished or uh, overweight. आप खुद चेक करके बता सकते हैं कि मदर मम्मी या फा पापा यू आर अंडर नरिस्ट खाना अच्छा खाओ न्यूट्रिशियस फूड ले लो या आप ओबेसिटी में हैं या आपका वेट ओवर है यू हैव टू रिड्यूस योर वेट ये आप बोल सकते हैं आज पढ़ाने के बाद पढ़ने के बाद यू हैव टू अप्लाई दिस इन योर फैमिली ओनली बीएमआई मींस बॉडी मास इंडेक्स बॉडी मास इंडेक्स हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सिंपल Take the weight of a person, adult person. Suppose an adult person is having 80 kilogram. So weight in kilogram by height in meter square. That means एक आदमी का weight 80 kilogram है, ये आपका उसका height 1.7 meter है. तो क्या करेंगे? 80 by 1.7 into 1.7. 1.7 square है ना? Meter में लेना है, centimeter में तो meter में लेना है. So 1.7 into 1.7. There is no unit of this BMI. So divide करेंगे 80 divided by 1.7 to 1.7. Answer जो आपको मिलेगा 18.5. If the answer is 18 for less than 18.5, then the person is undernourished या malnutrition, malnourished. That person should take more nutritious food. If the answer is more than 25, then the person is overweight. That means now you understood which well, uh, points is me jo aapka fit hota hai. Between 18.5 and 25 is fit. So today you have to check. Your parents, your brothers, and sisters, neighbors, whatever it is. You want to, if you want to check, you can check. Itna dhyan akna, BMI equals weight in kilogram by height in meter square. 80 kilogram hai to 80 by 170 सेंटीमीटर तो 1.7 मीटर होगा, सही नहीं था? 1.7 इनटू 1.7 स्क्वायर में आएगा। इसके बाद आंसर आएगा। 18.5 से तो आप सीधा बोलेंगे, यस, यू आर अंडर नरिस। गो एंड टेक मोर फूड्स। अबाउट 25, यस, यू आर ओवरवेट। खाना कम खाओ, एक्सरसाइज करो, इसे नहीं था? अभी सिटी की तरफ जा रहे हैं आप, � इतना आपको हो सकता है मैं बिलीव करता हूँ आपको समझ में आ गया प्लीज आप इसको रीड कर लीजिए थोड़ा सा टॉपिक पढ़ाया वो अच्छी तरह से पढ़ लीजिएगा थैंक यू बोर्ड बोर्ड एक्सप्रेशन के दिखाएंगे आपको थैंक यू सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इनकम एंड द अदर क्राइटेरिया इनकम एंड अदर क्राइटेरिया अदर क्राइटेरिया कौन कौन सी है आईएमआर लिटरेसी भी देयर टेटेनेंस रेशियो एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस थ्री टर्म्स आई इन आईएमआर इंफेंट मर्टिलिटी रेट नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दैट डाइ बिफोर द एज ऑफ वन ईयर इन ए प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ थाउजेंड लाइफ चिल्ड्रन बोर्न इन दैट पर्टिकुलर ईयर एंड व्हाट इज लिटरेसी रेट अ प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ एन एरिया एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम एज 7 इयर्स और अबव who can read and write with understanding. So the third is net attendance ratio. The total number of children of age group 6 to 10 enrolled in or attending primary school as a percentage of the total number of children of primary school age. These three terms you have to learn also because that is in, given in your test book also. Then we come, we are uh, analyzing this comparative analysis of the three states like uh, Haryana, Kerala and Bihar. Let's see the PCI, PC means per capita income, IMR, intrapartality rate, LR means literacy rate, NAR means net attendance ratio. Haryana, see the PCI of uh, Haryana, right? This is Kerala and this is of Bihar. And you can see that uh, Haryana is having the highest PCI whereas Bihar is the least. From this only, we can that this uh, Haryana's to least PCI indicate employment status and scope of earning is quite less in Bihar, right? And Kerala, let's see, Kerala is having that uh, uh, least IMR. Least IMR means sabse kam bache mar jate, right? Whereas Bihar has maximum, maximum Bihar mein. That means a high IMR, high IMR do hai, that implies what? The health care facility is poor. We have a health care facility poor and that is why it's poor. Isn't it? And 
हाई पर कैपिटल इनकम डज नॉट गारंटी फॉर बेटर हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज ये भी तो है यहाँ पर हाई यहाँ पर देखो पर कैपिटल इनकम ज्यादा है लेकिन आई एम आर केरला से भी ज्यादा है सो so, ये गारंटी नहीं करता है मेरे पास पैसा ज्यादा है तो ये बच्चे मरे थे मरे मरेगा नहीं करते क्योंकि पैसा ज्यादा है लेकिन हेल्थ केयर हेल्थ केयर अच्छा नहीं है इस वजह से बच्चे मर जाते हैं और एक साल के अंदर ये भी है सो so, यहाँ पर पीसीआई लॉ है साथ में आई एम आर हाई है That means we can say poverty is clearly visible in Bihar, right? Kerala को देखो literacy rate ज़्यादा है, right? Bihar has the lowest. It means more children in Bihar are away from education because of poverty and lack of education facilities. The reason was this only because uh, the lack of education facilities as well as poverty. That is why the children of Bihar is not attending the uh, attending the school. Listen, literacy rate देखो. And in, in case of Haryana, Haryana is also less. Uh, literacy rate than kerala though pci is uh, highest than also lr means literacy rate is less that means it never ensures the literacy rate right and another net attendance ratio mein aa jao highest in kerala see 83 lowest in bihar the percentage of net attendance ratio is all the three states is low we can say low hai all mein lekin sabse kam yahan pe bihar mein hai right that means kya hai तो आपको जो ये तीनों चारों को देखना है पीसीआई आई एम आर एल आर एन ए आर पूरे पूरे को देखने के बाद आपको लग रहा है कि दिस स्टेट इज मतलब कंपेयर टू दिस अदर टू स्टेट्स दिस इज बेटर राइट इफ वी आर कंसीडरिंग पर कैपिटल का हरियाणा इज द बेस्ट डेवलप्ड स्टेट बट अकॉर्डिंग टू इफ यू आर कंसीडरिंग आई एम आर एल आर एंड एन ए आर वी कैन नॉट से दैट हरियाणा इज द बेस्ट स्टेट so we have to compare all these things this is a these are the other criteria we have to compare whether the country is also rich developed or under developed like this right and second is i uh, will discuss about bmi 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 means that is related to nutrition only right nutrition is another important aspect for the of development internationally a standard term that is body mass index which is recognized to determine whether an adult person is under nourished or not This is meant for not for you. This is meant for the adult people, right? Adult people uh, के लिए ये है वो समझ सकता है कि मतलब that person is under nourished or overweight. मैंने कल मैंने ऐसे अच्छी तरह आपको समझाया था last day of the lecture दे रखे थे समझाया था कैसा करना है weight in kilogram by height in meter square. इसे नहीं ना you can easily find out whether the person is uh, under nourished or overweight. Today itself you have to find out whether the person uh, At your home, whether they are uh, undernourished or uh, overweight, weight in kilogram by height in meters. Height को meters कोर में लेना है. Suppose यहाँ पर एक numerical मैंने दिया है. Suppose height is one fifty centimeter, weight is आपका forty kilogram. Then how will you find out the BMI? How will you find out the person is uh, undernourished or overweight? Height is forty kilogram, that means by forty divided by one point five into one point five. हाइट को 1.150 सेंटीमीटर का मैंने मीटर में कन्वर्ट कर दिया तो 1.5 मीटर मिल गया इसे नोट डर तो मीटर 150 बाय 100 है 1.5 हाइट तो आपको 1.5 इनटू 1. स्क्वायर में है तो अगर दिए लास्ट में जान से मिल गया 1.77 दिस 1.77 इस लेस दैन 18.5 तो मीटर 18.5 फाइव से कम है मैंने आपको बता दिया था 18.5 से अगर कम अगर बीएमआई � So we can say that this, according to this, uh, uh, this uh, height and weight, this person is uh, under weight or under nourished. If the answer will be more than twenty five, hundred percent, that person is uh, overweight. This much only I told you. And uh, please read the topic and understand the concept clearly. And I will afterwards I will give the uh, numericals and all the things. So you have to understand the things. Two mark ka or one mark or three mark, कोई भी क्वेश्चन आ सकता है. एक बार बोला सेम शॉट तीन मार्क क्वेश्चन आया था. सिंपल आपको डिवाइड करना है ना तीन मार्क का. So please, uh, you may please understand the things. If you have any problem, please uh, uh, you may contact me directly, and I will explain once again. Okay, thank you.